your feet again and then inhale bend your knees drop your hips reach your arms up overhead look up nice straight elbows you got them all right palms touch exhale forward fold bend straighten your legs out lift up through the crease of your hips good inhale stretch your chest forward look up and lengthen and I'm gonna give it to you your choice press the hands either step or lightly hop chaturanga gorgeous inhale press down lift the chest up exhale pull your hips up and back downward facing dog Step your right foot nice and lightly forward between your hands. Spin your back heel down. Keep your right hip squeezed in. Inhale, rise up, warrior one. Look up, good. Exhale, hands to the mat. Feel the hands press. Shoot your right leg back, belly lifts. Exhale, bend your elbows, lower chaturanga. But press down, spread your collarbones wide and lift up. Exhale, press up and back, downward facing dog. Good, left foot, step it forward between your hands. Right heel spins flat, inhale, reach up. Mm -hmm. And then exhale, hands down. Watch the hands, get them firmly rooted, shoot the left leg back. Keep the lift of the belly lower, chaturanga, collarbones wide, good, inhale, upward facing. Exhale, press up and back, downward facing. And then five even breaths. Mm -hmm. Think about the thighs still pressing back. The very center of your heel descending down. And that firm anchor into your hands. That's where the weightlessness is going to come from. You're going to think hips pushing way back away from the heel of your hand. You'll look forward and then you're going to think hips over wrist, thigh bones to chest. Step or lightly hop your feet. Inhale, chest up. Good. Exhale, flat back and fold. Bend your knees, drop your hips, Utkatasana, chair pose, reach up. Exhale, press down, stand, Samastitihi, release it. One more time, inhale, bend your knees, drop your hips, lift up as you sit back. Exhale, fold forward and straighten out. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana, look up and lengthen, good. Exhale, press down, step or lightly float, think silence, good. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, pull back, downward facing. Right foot, step it up. Back heel seals down with lots of control. Inhale, rise up, chest square. Exhale, hands down, step back. Mm -hmm. Nice and slow to lower, exhale. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, pull back, downward facing dog. Left side, left foot forward, right heel down. Big inhale to the top, warrior one. Exhale, hands down, good. Step back, bend and lower. Inhale, chest up, shoulders back. Exhale, pull up and back, downward facing dog. And just a couple even breaths. Mm -hmm. So let's look at plank a little further, kind of the foundation for this. So inhale, shift yourself forward to plank. Mm -hmm. and then once you're there, start to find, again, that same firm connection into the hands. So your hands are going to press down. Mm -hmm. The outer arms are going to hug in. And then the collarbones stay nice and wide. But then at the same time, the shoulder blades are nice and wide. I want you to press up between your shoulder blades just a little bit so you round here. But then pull the sternum forward a little more. Good. Now come to the low belly. Scoop the low belly up so that you feel your sit bones and tailbone draw straight back. And thighs up, heels draw back. Good. And again, just come to it. Connection of the hands pressing, belly lifting. All right. Back, downward facing dog. Good. Very nice. Let's put that together with chaturanga. So not much should change. The only thing that's going to change is the elbows. We'll do some push-ups. All right. So inhale, shift forward again. Feel the hands pressing, the belly lifting. Let that all stay the same. The legs are going to do lots of work too. Shift slightly forward and then bend chaturanga. Mm -hmm. Once you're there, keep everything wide. Shoulder blades, collarbones, hands firmly rooted. Inhale, back up to plank. Good. Exhale, lower down, chaturanga. Inhale, straight back up. Make sure the belly's still lifting, tailbone is back. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, plank. Good, two more, you got it. Exhale, the lower. Inhale, back up. Last one, exhale, lower. Inhale, press up. Take the hips up and back, downward facing. Drop down, rest, child's pose for a moment. I'll give it to you. All right. So, so much about this. It's about connecting the hands to the floor and then the belly lifting up idea of the root and a rebound. Good. Okay. 
from here. Press back up, downward facing dog. Let's start to set up the shape of the pickup jump back a little bit more. Okay, so inhale, shift yourself forward to plank. Bring your shoulders forward over your wrists. And then pick your right foot up one inch. Okay. I want you to think about the inner thigh spinning up, the energy drawing back through your right heel, and that idea of the outer arm squeezing in. Now maximize that, pull that right knee in towards your chin. And then once it's here, I want you to really round. So the hands press down, the outer arms squeeze way in, the upper spine rounds way towards the ceiling, and then you think about the right hip flexor working. Use that thigh bone to chest, heel to tush, get as tiny and compact as you can get. Okay, stretch your right leg back, set it down on the mat. Let's press back to downward facing dog just for a moment. And then inhale, shift forward to plank again. Good, pause to exhale. Pick your left foot up an inch, but find the hands, press them firmly, squeeze the outer arms in, scoop the low belly, now maximize it, knee to nose, pull it in, round, good. Keep the shoulders over the wrists, the elbows squeezing straight, the upper spine rounded, now really work from the hip flexor, glue the thigh up, glue the heel to the tush, gorgeous, Nicole. Stretch left leg back, set it down, press back, downward facing dog, gorgeous. Okay. And from here, just drop down, rest, child's pose, one moment, arms out in front of you, good. Very nice. Mm -hmm. And then as you're ready, keep the hands pressing, set up that whole idea again, why lose it now, we might as well go with it, you've already <laughs> really worked it, press back to downward facing dog. All right, little core work, we got to do it, <laughs> little bit of belly, okay, look forward, and just hop to sitting, cross your ankles and sit down. Good. Let's start with Navasana. Okay, so feet on the floor. Bring your knees all the way together and hands to the backs of your thighs. So, so much of this is about not rounding the back and using the hip flexors. They're so important in pick up, jump back. They seem like they wouldn't be. It seems like it's all belly. It's not. It's hip flexor. Okay, so lean back just slightly. I want you to lean back and just notice how the low back rounded a little. I want you to keep the chest wide and lean back just enough onto your sit bones that you can start to make the feet a little bit light. Okay, once that happens, then keeping the chest wide, start to make the feet even lighter. Knees bent, mm-hmm. Keep the knees all the way together, right? And then outstretch your arms. Make them parallel to the floor, no hitchhiker thumbs. Good. And then from here, if you can keep the chest wide, then start to straighten your legs and spread your toes. But if you lose that chest thing, then knees bent. It's all right, we're gonna do this. Five breaths, you'll hold here. I'm going to give you that that was almost five, <laughs> right? And then hands down, cross your ankles, and take a little rest. All right, that's all. That's all. Okay, so a little rest in between. Mm -hmm. And we're going to do it five times because that's the way it goes. <laughs> all right, so again, come into it. Feet on the floor, chest up, mm -hmm. hands to the backs of the thighs, shift slightly back, and then start to reach through the toes, straighten your legs, straighten your arms. Good. Keep the idea of the hip flexor crease, the crease of the hips where your pants are wrinkling, deepening as the chest lifts and widens. Elbows nice and straight. Good. Okay, set it down. Yes, that's two. <laughs> Three more. You got it. All right, lean back, same thing. Feet on the floor, lift, open, reach. Good. Mm -hmm. Once you're there, to think about the back ribs moving into the chest like they do an up dog. The hip flexors working to pull your thigh bones to your chest. Good. And then set it down. Rest. Relax. Three. Last two. Sit back. Mm -hmm. Lift up. Good. And then find the breath. So let it not feel frantic. Let it feel like the breath is moving just like it was in that very first child's pose. And then set it down and rest. So much about this is about committing to kind of doing it day in and day out, knowing that one day it's just going to happen. So part of that is this work. Shift back, lift the chest. Good. Last one. Arms out. Mm -hmm. Spread through the toes. Nice soft face. Good. All right. And then set it down. Rest. Just take a moment. Right, we're going to combine that with the next pose. We're going to do Navasana Ardha Navasana. We're going to work the hip flexors a little bit more. OK, 
Okay, so weight back into your tush again, feet onto the floor, all right, and then lift the chest up. You're gonna set it up the same way. Shift slightly back, mm -hmm. keep your collarbones wide, pick your feet up off of the mat, good, and then straighten your legs all the way out and reach your arms forward. Okay, from here, exhale, lower yourself down, Ardha Navasana. Good, keep the belly scooping, mm -hmm. toes spread wide, collarbones wide. Now lead with the heart, think hip flexor crease is gonna work. Inhale, back up, Navasana. Gorgeous, exhale, lower, Ardha Navasana. Inhale, lift and open, Good. exhale, lower it down. Three more, inhale, exhale back down. Good, keep reaching through the toes, inhale, lift up, exhale, lower it down. Last one, inhale, up, exhale, lower, good. And then hug your knees into your chest, give them a little squeeze. Mm -hmm. And then rock yourself up to sitting. And then once you're sitting, we can have you come forward to all fours. I'm gonna work on low lasana. Right, so a little, little dangling action <laughs> here. All right, so we're gonna come at this a few different ways. So. First, we're just gonna start with hands on the blocks. Set them up just kind of halfway between your thighs and your hip, or your knees and your hips. And then make sure your hands are fully onto the blocks. So no fingertips hanging off the edge. You need to have that firm foundation that we set up at the beginning. All right, so palms are firmly pressing. And just gonna, you're gonna just keep your elbows straight and lean your chest slightly forward so that you shift the weight into your fingertips. Now, you're gonna think, round your back around it a lot, mm -hmm. good. Scoop the belly up, okay? Now start to work the crease of the hips again. Bring the thighs to your chest. Good, hands pressing, upper back rounding, knees as close to the chin as you can get them. Now maybe put your right foot up an inch. Try to bring the heel to your tush. Gorgeous, spread through the toes, and then set that foot down, left one. Pick the left one up, hug it in, round, hands firm, good. Set it down, come down, rest, all right, yeah. Very nice. Okay, so this time we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna see if you can get both feet to come up, even if it's just for a second, even if it's just a little kick, it doesn't matter. What just matters is committing to it every day a little more. That moment when you wanna crash into the ground, if you can just hold it for one little microsecond longer, that's what makes all the difference. So hands pressing, same thing, elbows squeezing straight. Start to round the upper back as you shift your weight forward into your fingertips. Now once the upper back is rounded, thigh bones to chest, lean a little more weight into the fingertips, try to get both heels up, good. Okay, set it down, rest. Excellent, excellent, <sighs> excellent. Okay, and from here, actually gonna come to sitting with your legs out in front of you again. Okay. So, fours, sit with your legs out in front of you. Okay, so we're gonna work on Dandasana pickup. So this is kind of the start to how we're gonna move into the pickup jump back. We're gonna do this one without blocks, okay? So hands just a little bit in front of your hips and then hand, fingers spread wide again. Find that same firm anchor that we've been working the whole time, right? And then feet flexed. I like to make Barbie feet here because they're pretty. And I, I don't know, it just makes it easier. Let's just go with it, okay? So hands pressing and then you can do that same thing where the low belly is gonna start to scoop and you're gonna round the upper back. Okay, so press your hands down, scoop the low belly, round the upper back and start to pick your tush up. Okay, now maybe one foot comes up a little bit. Good, set it down. Maybe the other foot comes up a little bit. Set it down, sit down, rest. All right, and do that again. Same thing. All right, so hands pressing, round the upper back by pressing, squeeze your arms in. Good, pick one foot up, think hip crease working. Set it down, other foot up, set it down. Okay, sit down. Rest. Okay, this last one, we're gonna do the same thing as Lilasana. Maybe they both come up, maybe they don't. <laughs> what matters is the effort, so here we go. Hands pressing, outer arms in, round your upper back, good, and then they come up. All right, work the hip crease a lot. Very, very nice, very, very nice. Okay, so from here, let's start to put it together a little bit more. All right, so we're gonna do an Utputihi variation, so a pick up and kind of hold a little little situation. Okay, so blocks go in the same place that you had them for Dandasana. Right, you're going to cross your ankles and bring your thighs to your chest. Right, and you're going to think tiny, tiny little compact shape. Okay, so hands onto the blocks, same thing. Fingers all on the blocks, palms firmly planted. Okay, and then you're going to press down and start to lift yourself up, straightening your arms. Once you're up, round the upper back a lot, 
thigh bones to chest and you try to get everything to come up off the mat. First time, let's do it with just the toes down. So toes down, press down, lift up and round. Good, make yourself teeny, 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 tiny, and then set it back down, okay? This time, when you pick up, we're gonna 